Saw a few people asking for tutorials. Yes, two of those were me. But I'll be happy to give y'all some. Do y'all hear that? Oh no, he's coming. How was everybody's weekend? I hope y'all are doing well. So basically, uh, you know, my associate, Christian Creates, had said, hey, I wanted a tutorial or something. I'm that art teacher, so, you know. We'll start off with the little inking tutorial. Okay, so basically, if two lines are, like, together, where they join should be, like, darker. Which I know, it doesn't really make sense, like, how would it look better, but... You'll just see, you know. And um, also make sure you let your lines breathe a little. A lot of people like think you have to do one harsh line, but you can like, you know, you don't have to make it real dark the whole way. So that's my genuine advice. Another thing for inking, let me think. Hatching, hatching. A lot of people don't use hatching, but uh, you know, if you do a bunch of lines in a row, it'll look darker and if you do it the other way it'll look even darker so that's one uh good thing to look out for um let me think if something's really dark go ahead and make it black i mean it won't hurt nothing but um yeah that'll that's, that's it for inking. As far as shading goes, you know, there's a lot more to say about shading. Basically, what you want to do is base color. Do the whole thing the lattice shade. Unless you want to have, like, highlights, you know, white uh, edges or the middle or whatever. If you want that to be the lattice area. But this also all depends from where your light's coming from. And, um, yeah. Shade away from the light, obviously. But there are uh, specifications, for example, hair. If hair is darker, a lot of times I like to make it lightest in the middle, which is like a cool way of showing that it's like shiny. Versus if it's lighter hair, white, you know, blonde. <laughs> Sometimes I like to make it darker in the middle. I don't know, I saw someone do that one time and it kind of stuck with me. Um, let's see, another thing that I would like to do is when I have a character or a face or something and it, there's a specific part I want to stand out, what I'll do is I'll do like a block of color, which you've probably seen multiple times, the circle with the, uh, the circle behind this. And as you can see, if we get a little closer, there's also a little white edge around it. And that also helps them stand out. So, yeah, that's something you might want to try out. Uh, let me think. If you're doing graffiti letters, a lot of times people will do like a big black outline, which is what I do. And sometimes you can even enhance that by adding a darker shadow underneath it or beside it or whatever. If your marker is dried out, stop using it. I was like that once. I was like, ooh, it's got a few more uses. I can get a little more uh, use out of it. No, you can't. Stop using it. If it's dried out, stop using it. Stop. <laughs> it's probably going to be it for me. I hope this helped. You know, your shading, your coloring, your blocking, whatever you want to call it. And this might be the last you hear from me. Maybe. I don't know. Unless y'all want more tutorials. Hand tutorials. Toe tutorials. You know, I'm open to all that. Whatever you guys want, I'll teach. I mean, I'm here. I'm the art teacher. Teacher. This is probably gonna be the end of class, so uh you know let me know if 
If y'all ever need any advice about life or um, drawing or anything, I'm here to talk. So, you know, pull up to my office or you could just write a letter, you know, throw it in the ocean. It might find me. Um, that's it, you know. If y'all want, if y'all need like stunts or something in the middle of a video, let me know some ideas because I'm running out, you know. And this kid Christian creates wants me to do a little dance with him or something. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. video was terrible i'm sorry but it was fun to make and remember these are all just techniques but when you put them all together you know you can end up with something that you're pretty proud of that'll be it from me <laughs>